Welcome. Today we're going to learn about integration by parts and specifically with algebraic and natural log functions. So here's our example in one. We're integrating x times the natural log of x dx. So at first glance, it's obviously not powerful. Uh, another possibility would be maybe integration by substitution, but unfortunately that does not apply in this case. So the next best step would probably be to try integration by parts, mainly because we have a product here of two different types of functions. So this is the rule in one for integration by parts. The key here is we're integrating something in the form of u times dv. So I told you we have a product of two different functions. One of them is going to be u and the other one is going to be dv. And then once we have that, we can then proceed with our rule. u and v are differentiable functions of x. So the difficulty is assigning which one is u and which one is dv. And sometimes it's just a question of trial and error. But in this particular case, we can use our Lie 8 rule to help us out. Lie 8 is an acronym. Each letter stands for a different type of function. So you determine what functions you have. And depending on the order, the hierarchy, uh, of where they fall out on Lie 8, that will tell you which one's U and which one's DV. So let's just try it. So in here in 1, we have x, which is our algebraic function. So algebraic begins with a. We're going to use the letter a in our Lie 8 rule, and you can see that in 3. And uh, we we know that definitely we have covered the a for Lie 8. Now, what about our other function? Well, our other function is the natural log, and that falls under a logarithm, or l, for our Lie 8. So the two letters in Lie 8 that we're dealing with are L for logarithm and A for algebraic. Well, since L comes first, that will become our U. And the algebraic, which is our X, will become our DV. So depending on where you fall in terms of Lie 8, that will, the higher letter will become your U, and the lower one will become your DV. So that's how we've assigned R, U, and DV in this particular case. Okay, so here we've just re-shown what we just spoke about in 1. X is going to become R, DV. Now, anytime you have DV, you must include DX with that. So it's actually going to be X, DX that's going to be our DV. U is going to be our natural log of X. So you see that in 2. And then we need also to figure out, because we have to complete this rule, we're going to figure out what du is. So we have to take the derivative of item 2. And in item 3, we've done that. In item 4, we identify our dv, which we already stated was x dx. Then in item 5, in order to get v, we have to integrate dv. And we get, in this case, x squared over 2. Okay. Now we've got all we need to plug into the rule, which we have here in 6 as a reminder. So in 7, we just replace everything, put it into the rule. In 8, we simplify things a bit. But if you notice in 8, we still have another integral to solve. The good news is it's a much easier integral. We can simply use power rule, and we integrate that in item 9, and then we simplify everything in item 10, and we are done. And that's integration by parts. Now go practice, practice, and practice some more.